mean, this is the Nerf rival Nemesis. This is a primary class rival powerhouse, and I am so excited to be the first one to bring a review of it to you. So, let's talk about it. The nomenclature on here is the MXVII-10K. What does that all translate to? Well, that translates roughly to it as a hundred round capacity. That's crazy! And it's going to be released in 2017, which is, ding, this year. So that's pretty awesome, too. We'll have a ton more information about this and its MSRP and whatnot at Toy Fair, but for the time being, let's just talk about the one that we have. Powered by 6D batteries, this launches rival round in full auto. Glorious full auto. That reminds me a lot of the chaos. Speaking of, we will, of course, be doing a full comparison of these two since they're very similar, but without a magazine in it, that's about how they stack up size-wise. So more on that later, but for the mean <laughs> in the in the present, this is a horizontal flywheel system that delivers the hits, still has a hop-up flap up here. This entire system is largely hollow and serves as kind of a built-in foregrip. It's not as angled as I like it, but it is quite comfy. Trigger system is actually fine. Handle is ultra comfy. It's large enough that this hook here doesn't bother you at all. Trigger is skeletonized. There is, of course, a safety on this side, which has been standard in pretty much all rival blasters due to their increased performance. Now, there are two separate ways of reloading the rival nemesis, and they're both very useful and very different. So, some things are better explained in POV, though. Let's go to the firing demo. So here we have the Nemesis in close-up, and you can see that the stock is actually quite comfortable. It's got a decent contour, even though it's obviously designed to hold all of those batteries. Quite comfy. Foregrip is, again, not bad. These uh, holes in it actually lend themselves to a better grip. Now, one thing that is funny to note is that Blaster is decoed on both sides. In the past, as a cost-saving measure, Hasbro wasn't doing that. They just had one almost label to camera, so to speak, side. But now it's looking pretty good. We've got the fun sort of weathered stripes, I guess, on both sides so that it's largely symmetrical. Of course, this side still has our disclosures, and this side has the rival logo, nice and distressed. The safety mechanism is on both sides, so whether you are a lefty or a righty, you should be A-OK -okay there. Uh, horizontal flywheels, as we mentioned before, with a hop-up tab inside. Now, the sight is, of course, flip up in the front, and this one is also flip up, but it's not quite the same sort of flip up because it's clearly functional. What does that mean? Well, it means that the entire hopper is removable. If this doesn't excite you, I don't know what will. This is insane. Think about how just remarkably beefy a squad of even three mediocre humans in HBZ would be if they had two of these on their belt and one loaded into the Nemesis. That's an easy to reload full auto 100 shot blaster that just Oh man, full auto rival round, so very crazy. Now, you can see inside here that there is an agitator. It runs kind of like this, and it runs in concurrence with the conveyor belt. So it twists and puts things in, and while it's doing that, it's also pushing these balls forward into the flywheel system. So pretty sweet how it's doing both things. It's very similar to paintball blasters that do something kind of like it. I wish that I could engage all of these locks you can see the blaster will not rev so that you can't get your hair or fingers tangled into this agitator as long as there is not a hopper or whatever we're going to call this inside. So without that, it doesn't rev. With this in, you can kind of get a feel for how it does move through the mechanism, but uh, a very, very cool look at how it works for sure. And then of course, if you just want to top off after spraying a couple of opponents, this opens up entirely here. I believe it also has a lock so that Blaster will not rev, and that's of course this orange piece back here. Uh, but when that is closed, you can get it rocking and rolling, revving and firing in full auto. So what does that look like? Well, relatively consistent fire rate, uh, relatively decent rival performance. So very similar to like the original Zeus. We're getting ranges of about 50 feet, 50, 55-ish, if I had to say, and that's of course from standing, uh, but uh, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Hard to say exactly, as the rival rounds do have a bad habit of bouncing, but there will of course be the usual links in the description box to prove me right or wrong. Uh, single fire is a little bit better, of course, and the consistency is relative but the rival rounds tend to fly a little bit straighter and a little bit floatier. So with full auto, 
it's hard to imagine that you're not going to hit what you're aiming at. So let's take a better look at the full auto before we take it back inside to talk about some other stuff. Oh no, it looks like poor Elroy's been zombified. Well, there's one solution for that, and it's glorious full auto rival rounds. So in true HVZ spirit, let's take him out. Sorry, Elroy. Woof. This thing is a ton of fun. So as we get closer, you guys can see how the agitator works. Just feels like you never run out of ammo. Here we go. So, we'll try and manipulate this. And we had one straggler, but shows you that it's actually quite the efficient mechanism there, agitating and then feeding the rounds into the hopper itself so that they don't get stuck. Uh, really, really cool system and thrilled to get to, to fire it for you guys on camera. Wow, so this guy is a house. Just what an awesome hopper fed primary. Can't wait to take this out to the SCNC and just blast all of my friends at our Nerf group. It should be a ton of fun, but before I do that, I think it's going to need a modification guide. And of course, I will put that link in the description box below for all of you to check out how this really works and what makes it actually tick. In addition to that, uh, there will be a full range and crony video for this. If you need that data visualized, I understand, and you're a stock class nerfer, no problemo. That will also be in the description box below. A huge thank you to my friend Gabriel out in Seattle for making this video possible. And then, in addition to that, I know that a lot of you are wondering, uh, will it take the rechargeable battery pack? I know it rocks 6D batteries, and the answer is, of course it will. Why would they make a product that isn't cross-compatible? So this drops in easy, and it does two things. Not only does it improve the performance just a hair, but it also makes it just a tad lighter, which is valuable if you're one of those smaller class nerfers running around out there. But Blaster is sweet. Can't wait to share that content with you, and as always, uh, please hit that subscribe button. I do my very best to get you the absolute latest and greatest in nerf news and releases, and I do a better job of it than pretty much anybody else. So if you'd like to be the first to know about the latest blasters, particularly coming out of Toy Fair, I have no less than 10 interviews scheduled with lots of different companies, including Hasbro, Buzzby, uh, X-Shot, um, Zuru, Zing, uh, I think that JetX is going to be there, like a ton of blaster companies, and then a few other great uh, interviews lined up, so I will have the entire scoop for you, but if you want to be sure to catch it, you absolutely have to. Hit that bell button so that every time I launch a new video, you'll absolutely get the notification. There's been some trouble on YouTube with this recently, but if you do this, you should get all the nerfy goodness I'm raining down. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. It was a slightly different format for the review. If you dug it, leave me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below. I'll do more like this. I've got the setup now. Doesn't bother me a bit. Much love. Nerf on. Drek out.